can and will get done before game day? Well, we got back so late uh, Sunday. Uh, we didn't do much yesterday. Uh, today we're getting ready to practice here and uh, go through some film work and quick practice. We fly out later today and uh, get in there late tonight and Wednesday go through the NCAA required stuff, and media and that, and, uh, and uh, hopefully be ready to go late Thursday night. Will you practice off-site then tomorrow after the media stuff? Uh, we'll see how we feel. You know, I, we get a little longer time, you know, since there's only four teams. So uh, we may go walk through some stuff somewhere. But, uh, you know, again, it's just making sure mentally they're ready physically. You know, you just don't want to tire them out or anything. You just want to make sure you're ready to go. How quickly were you able to start watching film on, on Virginia when that game was won? Oh, we watched it on the plane home, plane coming home. You know, uh, got great guys. You know, they had everything up and running. So watched a little bit on the way home and couldn't sleep when we got home. So watched a little bit more. What are your so, impressions? Oh man, they're they're a very good basketball team. They don't beat themselves. They don't give you easy baskets uh, defensively. You know, they know exactly what they want to do and they've played together so um, very cohesive unit uh, offensively you know they don't turn the ball over you know they get the shot they want nine times out of ten um, you know guy didn't shoot it well against Oklahoma but when he shoots it well you know they they're they're a very good offensive team uh, their offensive efficiency is is off the charts I don't know what it rates nationally but just watching them you know it's got to be really high because you know they just don't waste any possessions and they don't turn it over. The second connection is that right? Yeah. 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 Doesn't surprise me. So a lot of connections to similarities to Wisconsin, considering Bennett's dad played coach there. And... Oh yeah, no, no. There's, uh, you know, they don't give up easy baskets. They don't beat themselves. Um, very physical team. You know, good on the boards. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities. Going to help them that you guys. That face Wisconsin, that face that kind of a grind out defense. Oh, I don't know. That is, every game's different, right. you know. Uh, it won't hurt us. That you know, 25, 25 at half doesn't bother us. You know, it. it uh, we've been there. And, you know, a lot of teams they they panic when they can't score. Uh, we've gotten more comfortable with it as the season's gone on. So, uh, you know, some people don't like that pace. You know, but. We've, we've learned to adjust to that pace and be okay with it, so um, I don't think it'll be a problem. During this stretch, you guys have been really effective at disrupting the top player on the opposing team. This is a three-headed monster here with Guy, Jerome, and Honor. How do you try to disrupt all three if you can? Uh, they they do have a number of guys that can score. You know, their big guys do finish inside at a good rate, uh, but Jerome, you know, really makes plays. Hunter can go get his own. And as I mentioned, Guy can really stretch the floor with his shooting. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a very difficult assignment for our team to, you know, to have to make sure we stop three guys. But all three of them are capable of having a big game, you know, and really taking over a game. So um, it will st stress our defense. There's no doubt about it. Uh, their offensive efficiency, guys that can make their own plays, and then they just run their stuff. It's, you know, they don't run a lot of stuff, but what they do run is very well run. When you guys were recruiting Kenny, was it just his straight up athleticism that stood out to you guys and you could figure we could mold something out of this? Or what was it that kind of first popped? That was, you know, the thing that really stuck out. You know, you uh, offensive, he was, he was a little behind because he started playing basketball late. Um, you know, and his, his offensive game is going to come around. He's, you know, he works at it. He's in the gym. And, you know, his instincts are okay, and you know, I think he'll become a better passer, a better finisher. Uh, but the thing that stuck out was you know, his ability to block shots, his defensive ability. And you know, we'd had some pretty good athletes here, and, and saw the same type of young man, the same kind of uh, athlete that could, could really generate a lot on the offense or the defensive uh, end of the floor. And, and hopefully, then we develop into a good offensive player. You kind of saw him rise to the occasion a bit last year towards the end of the Pac-12 term. He had a couple of key blocks in, in those games. What has he kind of done to kind of elevate himself to, to this position going forward from that? 
Well, it's, it's just a progression, you know, a, a process. And I think he's developing in all areas of the game. He's, he's feeling more comfortable rolling to the basket and finishing some of those. Uh, his instincts and feel for the game have become better so he knows when to come over and block some shots and when not to. But that's just a natural progression. And, and uh, you know, he's slowed with his jaw. You know, I think that really hurt him. And um, But since he's been back, he's, he's really come on strong. And, you know, there's no doubt he's a big part of, of our defense. You know, I mean, we saw that when he was out. You know, we lost some games here at home. But, you know, we just we didn't have anybody protecting the rim and people were getting to the rim on us. And, and then you start packing it in a little bit and you start hitting threes. You know? So, um, you know, he's, he's a big, big part of what we do defensively. How much has Francis helped in the regard of allowing him to then be on the weak side to, to get those blocks? Well, you know, Francis has, has done a good job. He had, he, Francis has had a little trouble getting out on the perimeter and, and guarding, which in our matchup, you know, we kind of ask everybody to do. You know, we don't let anybody really sit in the middle and just, you know, and he feels so much more comfortable in there and he's having a little trouble getting out. But uh, Francis has given us a lot, you know, his physicality, uh, he scored that little jump hook inside. And, uh, but no, he's he's been, like I said, a big part of this last 10 game stretch and uh, his energy level is all about the team. And, and then what he's given us on the court with his physicality. What's been the difference in execution, Dane, on the defensive end in this 10 games where uh, always the game plan is, like I said, to take away the top opposing player. But you guys have done that on a pretty unbelievable clip here in these 10 games. What's been the difference in these 10 compared to, you know, the 5 or 10 before that? Well, you know, a lot of it's just, you know, we're not giving up nearly as many easy baskets. You know, start of the second half against Irvine, you know, get it's a wide open three. You know, nobody's even close to him. Then we give up a couple of easy baskets inside. And, uh, you know, so you know, we were kind of back to our old you know, exchange and baskets mode. I got That's what concerned me the most. I know we weren't scoring, but, um, you know, if we wouldn't have gave up 12 easy points there, we, we'd still been in pretty good shape. So, um, you know, I just attention to detail. We talked about the communication, uh, guys being much more aware of what the heck's going on. Uh, paying more attention to scouting reports, and, and uh, so it's just a progression of the team. But again, the communication and, and guys covering up for each other is, is much improved. Were you in Vegas when you felt like guys were starting to really get the message and, and get into that rhythm? Oh no, I mean it, the two games here against Arizona and Arizona State, I you know I told our guys that's what it's supposed to look like, you know. So that's that was the start of it, uh, definitely. You said earlier in the season that you were wondering whether the players trust the coaching staff. Obviously, there's just been a different chemistry with this team recently. Did you feel like that was a big change in what's happening? Well, I, you know, every relationship, you know, it takes time. And, you know, uh, there was a time where, you know, you just you know, no connection, you know. And uh, they weren't connecting between themselves, and we weren't connecting with them. And, uh, now, that's always frustrating for players. It's frustrating for coaches when you know don't have everybody on the same page. And it's not unusual for young teams. It's it's not unusual for teams that haven't been together a lot. Um, you get disappointed if a team's been together a long time and they're not connected. But with new guys and freshmen that are, you know want roles and everybody's not sure what's going on. Uh, I don't think it's that unusual. Uh, it just took this group a little bit longer to all, you know, figure it out and, and try to get on the same page. But, you know, that, when I said that, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a negative. It's just, it was just a fact, you know, we get, we got to get together. You know, I mean, it, uh, uh, and like I said, every relationship, you know, it, it takes a while. And this one took a, a lot longer. Everybody's together now, but, you know, as soon as this year's over and we start next year, it's, it's a whole different dynamic and a whole new group of guys come in and it starts all over, you know, you know the group, and the group dynamics, the team, you know, it's different every year. Uh, and this year it was different just because, you know, we start out with five freshmen, you know, grad transfer, and, you know, it was just, uh, it was different. It just took us a while. But have you ever been a part of a team that's had this dramatic of a shift? No, no, I've, I've stated that. I haven't, uh, you know, this, this last month, um, 
you know, I'd like to say I had it all figured out and it was a plan, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that uh, you know, the guys have done that. I'm, I'm really happy for them, though, you know, because I can just see how they, they're bouncing around and they're so much more into it and they're happier. And, you know, I, you know, I want them to have fun. You know, God dang, you get a chance to play college ball for four years and, if that, you know, some guys want to, whatever it is, you know, you want them to have a good time, you know. Uh, the reason Jordan and Dylan and those guys come back and text all the time is because they enjoyed it here, you know, and you know, that's a big part of it. You want them to, to enjoy it. You know, yeah, there's work to be done, and, you know, some days in practice it isn't fun, but you want the experience to be fun. You want the, the whole process to, for them to enjoy it. And when you're frustrated and not playing well, it's kind of hard to enjoy it, but... I think they're having a lot of fun now, and, and that's a big part of it. You're not a big picture narrative guy, but teams can be motivated by kind of having a chip on their shoulder. You play up, hey, we're the only double digit seed, but that's kind of surprising people. Yeah, yeah, we just, Virginia's a good team, we're a good team. You know, we just go, go play. Um, you know, I, I don't know, you know, just, I think motivation enough, we're in the Sweet 16, this is an opportunity to go to the lead eight. You know, if I got motivated now or <laughs> give them something, then, you know, they don't have a competitive spirit. And this group does. You know, Peyton's a great competitor. That All of them are. You know, those, those guys, they want to compete. You see that. You know, I mean, um, you, saw, you know, they kicked it in another gear because they knew if they didn't, we didn't have any chance. And so they are a competitive group, even though at times this year they did not show that competitiveness. And I'll be the first one to admit it. Uh, by nature, they are a competitive group. And, I don't think I need to motivate him for this one. There was an accusation of a bull this morning, and we saw it. Is that of any concern for you or anything you feel? You know, I don't have any information on that, and I have no reason to believe any of it's accurate. So um, until I get more information, I just don't have any comment on that. Oh, absolutely. 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 Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.